Just under 100 days remain until the Bush tax cuts expire and Congress has decided to do, well, nothing. At least until the midterm elections are over. Our very own Gene Sahadi with us now to talk about this. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Obviously, uh, Congress moves slowly, but this is a huge issue. What's holding things up? Right. Um, there's a bit of a gambit that both parties are playing before the midterm elections. The Democrats really wanted to put a bill on the floor that would force Republicans to vote only on whether we extend the tax cuts for the middle class. Mm -hmm. Republicans, of course, want to extend it for the middle class and everybody Everyone. else, too. So they, were, they would have been put in a position where they had to say no to middle class tax cuts if, in fact, they wanted to get their way. But there's a growing number of influential Democrats who have asked the, the Democratic leadership, hey, we really want to think about maybe temporarily extending these tax cuts for upper-income folks. I think so it, the votes may not have been there, too. I think yeah. it's interesting. You know, in the last few weeks, we, we saw Alan Greenspan, formerly a huge supporter of the Bush tax right. cuts, come out and say, even I right. now think we have to raise right. taxes across the board because the deficit's right. such a big problem. Right, and he actually, he's gone even further than most people. He and David Stockman, who is President Reagan's, uh, budget director. They both say you have to let them expire now. Whereas mm -hmm. most people are saying you maybe have to let them expire after two years, but the economy is so fragile, let's just extend them a little bit longer mm -hmm. uh, so we don't basically freak people out and, you know, cut into their paychecks too soon. You know, only about five weeks between the midterm elections in early November and when Congress recesses. So it's had enough time at all, Gene, to get something done yeah. because obviously they're now waiting until early November. Right. Lot of, there's going to be a lot of tax provisions. They're not just the Bush tax cuts. They've got the annual extenders that they're going to have to do. Can they do it in five or six weeks? Yes. And I think once the election pressure is off, uh, there might be a little bit more give in maybe both parties um, or at least enough in one party to, to make something possible because it's at this point, I think it's going to be untenable for people to, you know, see the tax cuts expire. If they do, though, if they wait until next year, if for some reason there is a logjam, right. chances are they will pass them and make them retroactive to January 1st. The key so. sticking point here, uh, you know, is do you extend them just for the middle class or do you extend them across the board mm -hmm. for people also making over $250,000 a year, which the president right. deems, you know, what, right. the wealthiest right, right, group. Right, right, right. Um, wh where do congressional leaders stand on those issues and is there rising sort of sentiment to say eliminate them completely across the board? Uh, no. There's no sentiment on either party to eliminate them completely. Um, but you are hearing it from people like Alan Greenspan. You just, but really Alan Greenspan and David Stockman, as, as far as I know, are the two people who've come out. But even Peter Orzag, the former White House budget director, right. said, let's extend them for everybody, but no more than two years. And he said you may, you may just have to do that. Politically, you may have to do that. So that's where the compromise is going to have to come in. Um, right now, Pelosi... Uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the President Obama, uh, top Democrats are still saying, hey, let's let them expire for upper income folks. But as I said, there are some blue dogs, the fiscal conservatives in the House who sent a letter to House leadership that said, you know what, let's just better safe than sorry, let's extend them for the upper income folks too. We maybe can afford it. Truth is, the money's not there, but there's a, a rule provision that they might manipulate to make it look like we can afford it's it. It's such a huge, huge political fight. Yeah. It's also an extreme uh, battle when it comes to fixing this economy because, you right. know, the, the argument there is if, if you let them expire for any group, mm -hmm. they're not going to spend the money that they need to spend, uh, whether it's business leaders, private right. individuals, that's to right. hire it's, to turn the economy around. That's the, exactly the reason to at least extend them temporarily. Everyone's concerned that the economic recovery is too weak, and as you know, CNN Money had its own survey of economists, and a majority of them said, yep, you've got to extend them for everybody for a bit.